it's coming from. Alright. Uh, my name is Crystal, and my presentation is on Emily. Um, the first thing I want you guys to do is to look at this picture. Um, this is me on an elephant in Thailand. And uh, I just was wondering if you guys would look at this picture close up and look at the characteristics of the elephant and tell me um, which ones of them would classify it as either African or Asian. So just take a look at the picture and try to be able to back up your theory if it's Asian or, or African. I went to Thailand in 2009. Um, extreme impact uh, through liberty and I got to ride an elephant uh, which was like in a dream come true it was so awesome uh, just getting to see the, the strength and the beauty of the elephant and how the Thai people use the elephants um, in their daily lives just uh, with traveling we saw a man who actually rode his through the city we were at a Thai barbecue place and he just rode this elephant right through uh, which was which was really interesting because we don't do that here so tell me what you think about that picture, and then also about this elephant here. Uh, if you just could tell me through the features what an elephant is. Um, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the body structure of elephants, and what makes it an African or an Asian elephant. Um, which the features of the elephant are insane, like just looking at how big they are and just the different diff the differences that they have. And also how similar they are, just because they're separated by the land doesn't make them completely different. Um, so with the African elephant, um, the tusks are heavier. They are an unbelievable 110 to 175 pounds for the tusks alone on the African elephant. And on an Asian, on an Asian elephant, they're 90 to 110 pounds. The trunk has a finger, on the Asian, it has one fingertip like structure on the end of the trunk, which helps it pick up things. And then with the African elephant, it has two fingertip-like structures. And then they also have more rings on the um, on the African or the yeah on the African elephant. Um, and then it's less rigid. And then the Asian elephant it has less rings, but it's more rigid. And then the back of it, if you notice, it's concave or it's it's ditch or concave, and then on the Asian elephant, it's convex or over top. And then um, when, the, when the head comes up, it's also more smooth where on the Asian, whereas the elephant one kind of dips down a lot lower. And then the head of the Asian elephant has two like little um, humps on it, which uh, when you look at it straight on, it looks like kind of camels on the top of it with two of them. And then there is no lumps on the Africans. And then, okay, does anyone think that they can guess the weight? of the African elephant. <laughs> oh, for 3,000 pounds. I'm sorry? 3,000? Um, just about. You're a little under. The, t uh, the weight of the African elephant is 4,000 to 14,000 pounds. Wow. And then the, the Asian elephant is lighter, and it is 4,000 to 10,000 pounds. The African elephant also has less hair, whereas the Asian elephant has more hair. If you, when you feel it, when we had our feet on the elephants, it was really fuzzy. It was a really weird feeling. It's not like hair that we uh, normally have. And then the ear size. If you notice on an on a African elephant, it's larger, and it comes up behind the shoulder more. Whereas the Asian elephant, it's kind of flatter on the top, and it comes around corners, corner, so it comes down rather than back and out. Um, and also, with the African elephant, they have more wrinkles, and the Asian, ha the Asian elephant has smoother skin. And then, did you guys know that the elephant actually has toenails? The, uh, the toenails of the African elephant, there are four on the front and then three on the back. And then the Asian, there are five on the front and four on the back. There's some more facts on here if you guys want to pass it around and look at them. The second thing that I want to tell you guys about um, is how you can tell them apart um, and just the eating habits. They are so similar in their eating habits. They are herbiv they're herbivores. And um, my article from Ciro talks about how um, they are high impact mega herbivores, meaning that where they are, they kind of eat everything around them. And so they clear the, the areas out um, fairly quickly. They eat fruits, leaves, grass, vegetables, tree bark, 
and peanuts, which is the classic, let's feed the elephant peanuts. Um, and so then the last part would just be that, um, that where, where the elephant is from has something to do with it too. So the African elephant um, comes from, there's, a, there's a, a savanna elephant, and then there's just a regular African forest elephant. And the savanna elephant comes from the savanna zones in 37 different countries of the Sahara Desert, while the African forest elephant um, comes from dense rainforests of West and Central Africa. And then the Asian and India, the Asian elephant, I'm sorry, comes from India, um, Sri Lanka, China, much of Southeast Asia, um, and that would include Thailand. So in conclusion, I told you guys a lot about elephants. Does anyone know where the picture, is it Asian or is it African? Asian. And then the little <laughs> statue, is it African or is it Asian? African. It's African. Oh, thanks guys.